Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay, Mass Man Reviews, and I'm back with another video. The topic for today's video is easy reach designer fragrances. You might be thinking to yourself, well, Jay, aren't all designer fragrances easy reaches? And my answer to you is no, they're not always easy reaches. There are some fragrances like, for example, um, <clears throat> the Givenchy um, Privé Boisé, which is a very woody fragrance. It smells great, but it's not an easy reach fragrance. I would also say like, let's say a, a, a Bad Boy by Carolina Herrera, especially the Parfum version. It has um, a quote unquote, um, herbal note which is not very mainstream and there are some fragrances like that that are designer fragrances just regular designer fragrances that may be challenging so just keep that in mind uh the other thing to keep in mind is that this is my list <clears throat> so basically these are fragrances which i consider easy reaches that i reach for and that i like so your miles may definitely vary. As for me, I've been around, I've been good, um, been working, vacationing, and taking care of business, as they say. So I've been okay. I hope you've been well too. Um, sometimes just because I, I may not post and I may not be around as active as I maybe once was, that doesn't mean that um, you're, you guys are not in my mind or I don't think about you or anything like that. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, that Iron Man in the background, my son gave that to me. So I'm featuring it in this video, but I will be removing it. As Iron Man is going to power up and fly away. All right. So let's get into the list. So I'm going to start off with a fragrance, which is a designer fragrance, but to me, it's kind of unconventional and it's not readily available. So, uh, I'll forgive me for that part, but it is a designer fragrance and it is by the house of Baldessarini and it's Baldessarini ultimate Baldessarini ultimate. Very nice bottle. The fragrance, though, is what we're here for. It's beautiful. Probably one of the better aromatic fragrances. Definitely a slept-on aromatic. Kind of has this um, very nice florals in here as it. well. Very refreshing. Highly nice enjoyable. In there. Touch of pink very pepper. Refreshing fragrance. Good for the summer. Has enough backbone to it. Spring that or warm weather makes it interesting, but definitely but an easy I, I wear. Would say you could definitely rock it um, around. Very nice. And this one is has Ultimate like a sweet spice to it. Baldessarini. Excellent fragrance. Performance, you're going to get a good five to six hours out of it, I would say. Um, and the, the fragrance kind of transitions into a little bit more woodier as it dries down. But um, it kind of stays true to itself. It, it doesn't change much. It's not one of those fragrances that has these hard and sharp transitions. It's very nice. There's a little bit of a herbal sweetness to this, but it's not like a sugary sweetness, if that makes sense. Kind of like maybe a bay leaf, if you will. Very nice. I, I really enjoy wearing this, and I think um, you will too. It's it's. Uh, I would consider this probably a cheapie, if if you will. And the fragrance that this kind of most reminds me of is the Viking Cologne. It has a lot of similarities to Viking Cologne. I prefer this better though. And this is this came out before Viking Cologne, Baldessarini Ultimate. Look at that bottle. The next fragrance is a relatively new fragrance. 
and um, it was released last year. So when I say new, it's not like brand spanking new. It's just new enough. It, it's been around since uh, the summer of last year. And it's a very easy, easy reach. So when I say easy reach is something that I could pretty much wear and not really think about too much. It's not, I'm not going to give it too much thought. And the performance on this one is outstanding. This one is by Terra del Maz. And this one is Ogevry. Very cool um, fragrance. Um, has a, that, that Terra del Maz vetiver DNA in there. But what, what really shines here is the pomelo or the, the citrus. Kind of smells like grapefruit in a way, but I'm not sure if grapefruit is actually listed as a note, but it does have this grapefruit and vetiver uh, vibe in the dry down. Very refreshing fragrance as well. If anything, I would say it kind of leans a little bit more mature, so some people um, may think that this is a more mature scent. But it's definitely one of the better uh, designer fragrances out there, and I, I stand by that. Definitely one of the it's most realistic nice grapefruits in a fragrance. So if you're a lover of wear. grapefruit, so this one is that nice. It's kind of like the key. And with this it's list. also it's cool that it has a bit of that tear down mass fragrance. scent profile in there as well, which some people may enjoy. And um, that one, I like it a lot. Is one of the easier to wear designer fragrances. The next one um, is from the house of Christian Dior. And what's kind of interesting about this fragrance is not the fact that it's not good or anything like that, or that it's even easy to wear. It, it, what kind of pu puzzles me about this fragrance is that it's just been reformulated quite a bit. Uh, but I really enjoy wearing this. And um, it, it kind of has this, I, I would say almost, um, it has a clean but slightly powdery vibe to it, if that makes sense. And it's a modern powdery. It's not like, like that old talcum powder. It's, I don't know how they do it, but basically it, it just has a very nice, clean, refreshing citrus powdery vibe to it slightly spicy too which is really nice and you probably guessed correctly it's uh the or ohm sport and this is the 2017 edition really nice fragrance i, I would also add that the or ohm cologne in here as a very easy reach fragrance but I kind of like the versatility of this one, although it's a sport. Yeah, I, I would kind of classify this also I would kind say of you in the same lines this. as your Allure yeah, Ohm uh, Sport on any occasion. Extreme, o Extreme. This yeah. one, though, to me is, is a bit well, more like relaxed that to, in that sense. Like it's not I don't know what to wear, um, overpowering at all. Like kind of has a lot of Chanel-esque vibes to it as well. But what's really prominent and here I is the blood that, orange. The blood orange it, uh, is really nice in this fragrance. Before, is, um, it, it yeah. could be like the ISOE Super or Cashmerian might be in there. Yeah. It's nice. It's very nice. And, and that's not like the forefront note by any means, but it kind of dries down into that. But very refreshing fragrance. Not a typical sport fragrance. Not at all, but very nice to wear. The next fragrance I would say is a typical blue fragrance. So when I think about blue fragrances, I, I think about something that has that woody, aromatic, but more on the fruity side as well. So there, there has to be some type of sweetness to it in a way. And I think what kind of captures that the most out of all the blue fragrances 
That's probably what why makes I this saw fragrance uh, so unique. Is uh, the fruity yeah. apple accord in there has a nice also it's very uh, nice. ginger vibe to it. This is to me um, not kind of in easy line with summer the, the blue reach, sense, but this one that that but, apple note is wow is a is a shining it's star. Playful, probably out of all of them, probably the most playful out of the the bunch that that I just that I have in the lineup. But still nice, not not that bad at all. Not that bad at all. So if you heard the rattling, you probably kind of could guess what the fragrance is, like the metal. And this one, again, maybe not... Uh, a typical easy reach. And I would say it's not a typical easy reach because it, it just doesn't have the performance that I would like out of this, but that's not to say it doesn't perform at all. You'll, you'll get a good six, five to six hours easy. And I think that maybe when I think about an easy reach, I'm not really necessarily thinking in terms of uh, uh, an outstanding performing fragrance, if that makes sense. And just kind of analyzing my thoughts, the reason why I say that is because you may not want that fragrance to stick around or be sticky if it's an easy reach. If it's an easy reach, it's something that you could just wear and really not give it much thought, not think about it so much. And what I mean by that is you don't want something that maybe is going to offend you or offend others, if that makes sense. This fragrance, though, um, it has a bit of mint to it. And quite honestly, it's not my favorite flanker in this line, but it, it's really nice um, and, and definitely an easy wear. And this one is um, Lemon in the Navy. It's really nice. Yeah, the citrus, the mint. Has a, a sweet mint to it. Almost burr mint-like. I like it a lot. That is in the Navy. The next fragrance um, I have up here, and, and it's an easy reach, but the, the reason why I kind of have this in this lineup is because this house really doesn't come out with a lot of men, men releases that frequently. So they don't market towards men enough, I think. But all of their men's fragrances are very well received. So what, what, I, what I mean by that is like typically you'll have like a popular designer house. They'll at least release one fragrance per year. And for this fragrance, there hasn't been a, a flanker in quite a while uh, from it. And there hasn't been like an original release in quite a while from this house as well. But it's often talked about and and although this is not my favorite fragrance i i just have to respect it and this one is uh blue de chanel as far as being an easy reach i would say it may be a little bit challenging due to a little bit of the smokiness in, in it but again if if you wear fragrances, it, it's it's an easy reach. And again, these are easy reaches for me. Some of them may be a little bit spicy for some people or maybe too sweet. Uh, your miles may vary, but for me, these are kind of easy reaches. And I would dare say that this is maybe the safest bet out of everything that I've kind of lined up. 
And again, I, I put this in the lineup more for the fact that it has stood this, the test of time. And it's one of those fragrances that it's almost kind of like a must-have in a way. Not my favorite, but I can't deny its um, ease of use. Two or three sprays, and you're good to go. You don't have to think about it so much. I think that that's what I think about when I think of an easy reach. And I went from the most, um, the easiest to wear. I'll probably go to the most challenging. And when you think about like a, a challenging fragrance, it, you're not, you know, a lot of people think about oud, but um, just for the for for the record, oud is is not a mainstream note, and it's definitely not something that is included in designer releases. So I really can't think of outside of maybe some some of the Dior Homme or maybe the, the, the Givenchy um, line gentlemen um, may contain a little oud in there, quote unquote. But for the most part, you don't have oud in there. And, and this fragrance does not have oud. It doesn't contain oud. But it does have a lot of spiciness and a lot of pepperiness to it. But I think what makes this kind of wearable is, is the fact that it has a very refreshing quality to it at that. So it's spicy, but yet refreshing. The quote unquote I think king of the aquatics. Probably, believe it or not, it is the kind most of challenging, challenging with that out of the bunch. So this is Aqua de Jo. But um, for to me, it's an easy reach. Very easy to so wear. So this is probably the strongest. Nice. And it's kind of strong. Yeah, probably the strongest, the spiciest out of the Aqua de Jo um, line of, out of all the flankers. And although I don't think it's super challenging to me, it may be the challenge, the most challenging out of the group, just kind of due to the spiciness that it has. Some people may have problems with that. So that is Aqua de Jo Profumo. And then kind of following up on a little bit of a challenging fragrance, but again, this has a very popular scent profile. This one is Prada Lunarosa Carbon. And what makes this kind of um, more unique than, than anything else is it has kind of like a, a soil note to it, a minerally aspect to it which is awesome so it's kind of has, has that the jour the dior sauvage vibe to it but with a mineral aspect and it's quite detectable the mineral note to me at least i like this a lot yeah in addition to that mineral aspect it also has uh, a little bit of sweetness to it which makes it kind of interesting definitely i love how it plays off the of skin and very nice though it, it's a, a it's a nice wear and that is the, I would say it's comparable to Sauvage, but this does its own thing. The next one is a very uh, unconventional one. And typically the, the this line of fragrances uh, from Guerlain are more a, a little bit on the wintry side, a little bit more heavier and dense. But this is a sport version of that um, scent profile. And if I kind of compare these two, right, or contrast them, what, what you'll notice is that they are sport fragrances. They're both sport fragrances. Yeah, just what I meant to but say about all this is that they they're both sport are fragrances. They're all around fragrances. So that's just a like classification. A I think they are. Pretty much I would regular say fragrances is, is the easy reach to the gym type thing, uh, but it is, sport it is an easy office safe scent. They're both I don't easy think of these as sport uh, fragrances. They're just regular fragrances. And 
very nice. This is it has a little bit of character to it. Um, a, a bit of tonka cardamom in there as well. Just um, nice to wear. And you could definitely detect the um, Lom Ideal yeah, you, you, in here. That almond it, comes it's through just, from um, Lom Ideal. So it does have that Lom Ideal sun profile. If I it's would a bit say more a, brighter a, 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 and much a bit more, more aquatic, which interpretation is really enjoyable the, in this fragrance. Lom Ideal. Kind of lighter, sun fair, profile. but the projection Not to me is, is actually improved in this one, if you will. But still has a little bit of sweetness. It's nice. Easy reach. That's the name of the game here. Something that you could, you don't have to really think about. You just throw that on and you're 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 set. And the last one in my easy reach category. Let's bring it on. on the other hand. Yeah, this one is really yeah, nice. It has a, very a nice. bit of sharpness. And I, again, maybe not the easiest maybe reach. Maybe not the easiest reach. And a reach. lot of the notes in here are hard so to discern, but I would the heliotrope say really does shine these on this two, one. I would say are harder reaches, but this one uh, I would say is a little bit more, has a little bit more going on to it. Very nice, though. Very nice. And this is Pasha de Cartier Noir edition. Just stunning fragrance and those are my easy reach designer fragrances i know maybe they're not as easy reaches as you may want they're not the most popular fragrances out there but they are fragrances that are easy to wear and pretty much enjoyable for the most part i think anyone could wear them although they're marketed as men's fragrances um, I think any woman could wear them and pull them off as well. Probably with the exception of the uh, of these two, the Prada and the Armani Profumo. I think any of the other ones are, are fine to wear. But again, you wear what you want and be happy with what you have. And that's pretty much what this is about. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find any of this helpful, leave a comment and a like, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.